staying with the strength uh, training concept, uh, do you keep these two sessions per week uh, throughout the entire year? Uh, and when do you start it? And uh, do you keep that through the whole fall, or does that change a little bit depending on uh, the time of year uh, throughout the training season? Yeah, no? actually, in the training season is it's uh, pretty similar the whole uh, mm -hmm. the whole yeah from from May to to when uh, when the first races start. Mm -hmm. And when uh, yeah during the winter I only yeah have maybe one hour or one one session with uh, with strength just to keep uh, keep the body strong. And my main goals during the winter is not to to get stronger mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. keep uh, keep my body as strong as I I managed to get it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That's good. And in this one strength session per week uh, in the winter time, what's the mix of sort of the you know the core kind of uh, core TRX stability versus the weights in the in this one session per week in the yeah, winter? It's time? actually it's mostly mostly this core actually, yeah. but uh, some not every session, but uh, some sessions we also do do some heavy lifting, mm -hmm. but. Uh, Actually, it's it's not uh, it's not a lot uh, during the winter. I have to say, but uh, yeah, some more in the summertime. Oh, it's good, 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 good. And can you give any uh, double pulling has developed so much in the last couple of years? Can you give, give us any tips on what you think about uh, in different terrain? You know, maybe yeah. to to pick two uh, when you're going up a uh, you know a steep hill, and also when you're going you're super fast on the flats. What yeah. do you think about in these two different situations? Yeah, you know, when you talk about double pulling, it's also a big part of the the cross country skiing uh, mm -hmm. these days, and it will only be more double pulling. People think so. Mm -hmm. This is for sure a part of the the strength as well. Mm -hmm. When you have one session, maybe when you only double pull uphill and yeah, everywhere. That's also mm -hmm. strength training. Yeah, but uh, yeah, for if I should give some technique tips, I think uh, it's all about the angle in your elbow to. To have a big, uh, small this angle when you go go uphill, because mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you go like this, it's it's much heavier mm -hmm. for for your body. So mm -hmm. it's about keeping your pole as close to to your body as possible, mm -hmm. and then use use your weight uh, through the through the body. And of course, the the core training has uh, uh, hopefully helped us to. To make sure that the, all the powers you do in the double pulling goes straight down to the skis and give uh, as fast, uh, mm -hmm. make us go as fast as uh, as possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's all about where you keep uh, how the angle in your in your elbow is, is actually. Mm -hmm. I think because okay. when you go mm -hmm. when you go flat out and uh, really fast in the sprint, it's it's more you have this yeah bigger cyclist and. Uh, then you have to, for sure, take your poles a little uh, longer out of your body, and uh, yeah, use a bigger, bigger cyclist. Because mm -hmm. when you go double uh, uphill, it's it's a lot shorter uh, cyclist. You don't get that much power behind here. Mm -hmm. and then you get uh, close to close to your body. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's uh, that's the basic set. Great, great. A couple more questions. Uh, and your intensities throughout the training season. How does this look in the summer and in the fall? You know, how many, how many training, how many intensities per week? And is it level three or is it more sort of, you know, uh, in the summertime? How does that look? Yeah, when we start in uh, in May, it's mm -hmm. actually uh, mostly intensity three training, just to mm -hmm. to start building building up. And mm -hmm. uh, when it's closing up uh, to the winter, it's uh, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, intensity tree as well, but some more uh, mm -hmm. uh, higher intensity. Mm -hmm. But when we start, when we start the training camps, uh, we always have, uh, yeah, maybe a sprint or yeah, some type of uh, intervals where we we go all out, mm -hmm. and that's uh, throughout mm -hmm. the whole oh, year. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. Sounds good. And one last question: How many hours per week? Uh, sorry, how many hours per year did you train uh, as a late junior and also you know the last few years? How has this progressed? It's progressed uh, pretty much. I think uh, I wasn't the guy who trained trained the most uh, during my my junior age, but uh, yeah, I had uh, I was thinking uh, that it's good to to have some hours to to put on the next year. So. Mm. 
I think uh, I still have a lot to lot of hours that I can put uh, put on next year. So it's uh, about taking uh, taking those steps mm -hmm. as a junior, maybe 60, 65 hours uh, a month. Mm -hmm. And now um, I train maybe uh, between 70 and 80 and sometimes uh, 85 hours. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, in, in one month there can be a big difference because you will do training camp for 25 hours maybe and then the week after you you're a little tired so you maybe just uh, ski 14 hours so yeah okay, great well thank you very much uh, thank you for your time and all the best of luck this winter thank you